been uh, seeing nothing but rain across southeast Louisiana pretty much all day. And as some people are still dealing with heavy downpours, others are experiencing flooding along their streets. WDSU has kept you updated throughout the day on the impacts from Orleans to JP to the North Shore. Our Shay O'Connor joins us live now to give us an update on current conditions. Shay. Stella, that's right. Um, it's been a very wet day here in New Orleans. I'm actually in the CBD area right now. Two more days of this rain expected, and those I've spoken with say they don't know if they can handle too much more of the heavy downpour. From uptown to downtown, the east to the west bank, it rained and rained most of Tuesday, flooding along many streets. Earlier crews could be seen clearing out catch basins in preparation for this very moment, while residents and business owners just hope conditions don't worsen. We hope that we get lucky, fortunate again, like the last um, fall where we got the storms coming on the south, so we're hoping that that's, that's the truth. For officials, the main concern being lower-lying areas and flooded streets, including out in Jefferson Parish. We're also really concerned about any roadways near canals. That is always a very dangerous, possibly deadly, um, you know, issue for us is when the water levels near canals, um, you can't, you can't see where the roadway, when, when the water covers it, you can't see where the roadway stops and the canal begins. On the North Shore, the rain persisting throughout the day, causing many places to also take in water. Over at the North Shore Humane Society, kennels took in about three to four inches of rain. About 40 animals had to be moved while workers pumped out the area. We're semi keeping up with it for now, but we've had to put all these animals into our lunchroom. So we're already struggling with fosters. Our organization has 200 animals under our care at any given time. So this has kind of exasperated the situation. The organization is concerned about what will happen if it continues to rain. Those sentiments shared by many people across our area. Last time it rained, you know, a big storm like this, the highest, it was the highest I'd ever seen it on our street. And it was up over the sidewalk, you know, um, to the porch steps, that was it. Uh, you know, it's, it, the drainage is pretty good here now. Now going back to the North Shore Humane Society, they are asking for folks to go ahead on and foster some of the pets over the next couple of days as they work to keep the kennels dry. That's if you're interested, you can visit our website, WDSU.com. For now, just reporting live from the CBD, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.